Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 5th of 2021. Uh, <clears throat> a while back, I hit, quite a while back, because I don't think it tells here when this was. I had uh, two different people. Somebody, I paid them to create a app for Howard's Notebook on Google Play. And then I had paid somebody else uh, money to uh, do an app for Apple site. And they were both taken care of. The, uh, a while back at some point, Apple and uh, well, first Apple made some type of change in their uh, site or the rules or the way code was written or something. And uh, I had no way of reaching the person who had made the Apple app. Uh, and so Apple disabled the uh, Howard's Notebook app on their whatever they call their uh, store. And not long ago, um, Google made sent out it like an email saying they were going to make some changes, which I really didn't understand what, you know, what they were uh, talking about, I don't think. And then uh, I, I think they sent out maybe another couple emails saying that they, after such and such a date, if things weren't fixed, that it would be, uh, you know, the app, the uh, Play Store app for Howard's Notebook would be uh, disabled. And then I noticed a few days ago that it was disabled. And it did not appear in the Play Store, the Apple Play Store. So I went different places clicking in to different things and I found uh, the site and went in I saw there were there was a couple of things that they said needed to be changed. And I think it was basically a couple of clicks. Uh, I think one of them was like, uh, does, he, does your app allow for saving of people's data or something rather, or maybe another one was uh, something else. It was something that, uh, I think they may wonder if it was connected. So I don't know what they wanted. Anyway, I answered the questions as best I could. I just checked a few minutes ago. Well, you know, I had, it was off of the site. I just checked a few minutes ago and uh, it is in the Android store, the Apple store, not the Apple store, the uh, Play store. And, okay, well, let's see, I don't know how much, how well you can see that. But that's where you can go do Howard, you know, do a search for Howard's notebook and, uh, you know, install and click open or whatever, and it'll be on your Android device. And then I guess wherever these Google Play things go, uh, I guess it can go there too. So uh, I'm back. There are uh, five reviews, one, two, three, four, five. And I think that, and both, I think all of them were made when I first had it uploaded and that was in 2016. And so I uh, appreciate these people here who reviewed it and uh, all of them lied. I think it's probably a venial sin though. They all lied, gave it five stars. And uh, so we're back. So if you have an Android device, 
or any other device that uses the Google Play Store. You can just go there and do a search for Howard's Notebook. And let me do a search here for it. Howard's Notebook. Okay, when it, that's, you know, it, on the list, of course now it says it's installed, but you click on that, and, uh, oh, I could even rate it myself, couldn't I? Uh, so it's, uh, rate this app, uh, developer contact, hmm, okay, it has my email address, let me see if the website is, uh, no, that's bad. That's uh, bbs1982.com. And I don't own that. Uh, so that's something I, I need to go in and change. I can change. Let's see. Uh, well, it has my address. That's not good. About this app. Let me click on that. About this app, Howard's Notebook online blog since 1982. In 1982, Jim Howard started a bulletin board system, BBS, and it became one of the first online sites in the world. It was one of the first blogs. When the World Wide Web was invented in 1995, Jim moved Howard's Notebook. It is still going after more than 35 years. He still has some of the people from the old BBS days reading his blog. Many people think that Howard's Notebook is the first blog. It was one of the first sites to live stream. Not easy back in the old days. Link Up Magazine picked Howard's Notebook as one of the 10 best sites in 1984 says more information. I think that's it. It gives info maybe I'm the only one that sees you know sees the my home address and that kind of stuff. Uh, app information version 1.0 updated on February 27th of 2016 downloaded a hundred times offered by Jim Howard Released on February 27th of 2016. Add permissions. Version 1.0 oh, version 1 can access location. Access precise, precise location only in the foreground. Photos and media files. Reads the content of your shared storage other have full network access. Yeah, so this apparently this is something that I have the ability to go in and do on my cell phone, but I don't want to do it on my uh, cell phone. I'd rather do it on the uh, my PC, desktop PC. So, uh, If, if you have the, oh, maybe I should show that. Let's see. Uh, here's what it, let me pull up something so I can see what you, how well you're seeing this here. Uh, let me go over here. Okay, there you go. So there's home. If you click on home, it takes you to uh, YouTube. If you click on Facebook, it takes you to my Facebook. If you click on Twitter, guess where it takes you? It takes you to my Twitter. If you click on this YouTube, 
it takes you to a list of my videos starting with you know working back of course you can scroll uh, a little ways and then there's email and I don't think that works I think this is supposed to be you hit this and direct share not available so I'm not sure not sure how much of this exactly how it's going to show up because it's my app and I think I'm seeing things that so um, I think that's it if there's a Apple person out there who you know a who does apps and somebody who could charge a reasonable price for it I might pay to have an app put back on the Apple store um, <clears throat> but I'd want to be able next time to know everything I know I need to know to access it myself to change things or update it or follow the rules last time I paid somebody and he took care of it for me and he uploaded it for me and I have no access to it well it's gone now you know so anyway thank you very much for watching